Well, there are growing concerns of how artificially generated deep fakes could affect the 2024 elections. In January, an AI-generated robocall pretending to be President Joe Biden appeared to encourage New Hampshire voters to skip the election. It could be a sign of things to come for voters in this year's election. Monica Madden took a trip to the University of Texas to learn more. So these are the Tom Cruise deepfakes. It looks real. I'm gonna show you some magic. And sounds real. They are extremely realistic. But it's not. I would have no idea how to tell the difference. Especially because none of us have probably met Tom Cruise in person. They are especially convincing. Just wait till what's coming next. Many of us have seen AI deepfakes and they're shockingly realistic. It's why researchers like Zelly Martin at UT's Propaganda Research Center are worried. Crazy to see how much it's progressed just in the past few years. Martin isn't the only one bracing for the political effects of AI. The Federal Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency released a study showing that generative AI could be used to create harmful deepfake audio, video, photos, and text. It's content that could rapidly spread false information on social media or even be used to breach security measures. Who's susceptible to falling for AI and deepfakes? I would say everyone is. Technology, it's, it, you know, it's not inherently bad. There are lots of things about it that could be democratizing, but every time there's a new technology, people figure out a way to manipulate it and use it maliciously, so that will happen for sure. Texas passed a law in 2019 banning deepfake videos published within 30 days of an election, but otherwise, it's on voters to distinguish fact from fiction. I really hope that our policymakers learn from the past and say, okay, we need to sort of put aside our differences and figure out what to do about this. Martin says it's not time to panic, but to be extra cautious. If it seems maybe a little too good, I would say to double check and look for it elsewhere before going on and spreading that information amongst your family and friends. Your full forecast is up next. You're watching Fox 14, your morning news.